In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a scorecard chart in Google Sheets. Scorecard charts are often used in performance analysis to show a change in a key performance indicator over a baseline value. And so here are two examples of a scorecard chart. It's really just used to draw attention to a specific metric. And then there is um, a few different ways you can display the data. So in this example, I have total revenue for four months of 2021 and total revenue for four months of 2022. And I have in this top scorecard chart, just the total revenue and I'm showing the dollar difference. And then the bottom one, I'm showing the percentage difference between the two numbers. And so it's used to just draw attention to some metrics and provide an easy to understand visual element to your data. And so it is pretty useful and I'm going to show you how to create it. So I will delete these ones. So I already have my data in my spreadsheet. So again, this is just uh, monthly revenue for two years. There's 2021 and 2022 and I only have four months of the year. So what you want to do to create a scorecard chart is first select a cell outside of the chart. So I'm just going to select this cell E1. And then what you want to do is go to insert chart. And then the chart editor will appear on the right hand side of your screen. And so what you want to do is come to this chart type area, select this and navigate down to these other chart type section and you will see the scorecard chart here. So you select that and I'm just going to make this smaller so we can see what's going on on our screen. So the key with making a scorecard chart is understanding these two data points, the key value and the baseline value. So the key value is the current metric that we're looking at the baseline value is the metric we are comparing it to. So in this example where I have yearly revenue from 2021 and yearly revenue from 2022 for these first four months of the year, my key value is going to be my current year and my baseline value is last year. That's the year I'm comparing it to. So what you wanna do is click on this here and then I can input my data range. So for my key value, again, that's the current metric that I'm looking at, which is this, okay. And then for baseline value, select that box and then select data range here. And I'm gonna select the total revenue for the previous year. And we can now see that um, the change from 2022 compared to 2021 is $376. Now, if you want to change this to a percentage, what you're going to do is come to this customize tab and percentage is going to be in baseline value. So show comparison to key value as, here it is absolute change. And if you wanna show a percentage, you can change it to percentage change. So that is one way to create a scorecard chart. Now in this example, I already have the total revenue as a um, cell in my data. However, you can also create this chart on a data range and you don't have to already have the total in your data. So I'll show you how to do that here. So here, this is the same exact data, except this time I do not have this total column here but we can end up creating the same exact chart by putting a range as my key value and a range as my baseline value. So to do this, what you're going to end up doing is it's gonna be the same step. So insert chart and we're gonna go down to scorecard chart and I'm just gonna make this smaller so we can see our screen. And so key value again is our current metric and so our current metric is going to be this range for this year and then our baseline value is the metric we're comparing it to which is the range for last year's data and so what you want to do 
when you're doing a range is you want to select this aggregate box and then under the aggregate box you have a few different settings depending on how you want to have your data displayed so you can either do average count max median min sum this is a sum because I'm summing up the data so you can see my two scorecard charts are showing the same because um, it's the same data one I'm just doing it on a cell that is already summing up the total in this one I am doing an aggregate and summing up the total by putting in this entire range. So you do have a few options for customizing a scorecard chart as well and it's basically the same options you have with most charts. So under chart style you can change things like colors and fonts. Under key value um, the font and some coloring of um, the key value number you can also change the number format and some other things with that baseline value again this is where you um, can change it to percentage if you want to show a percentage you can also add a description here and change some font and coloring for the baseline value here and then if you want to title your chart you can do that under chart and axis titles and then you have some font and coloring settings of the title here as well but that is it for this video that is how you create a scorecard chart in google sheets they are very easy to set up if you have any questions just let me know in the comments thank you for watching the video if you haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button if you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.